I just wanna be okay, be okay, be okay. Hi everyone! Hi! Okay, what we're doing this week is we're kind of continuing on that theme of last week where we repurposed everything. Mm -hmm. But now we are going to be green and yes. what, what what else? We're recycling and recycling. Yes. We're being frugal. Frugal scrapping. Right. Stretching. Stretching your scrapbooking budget. That's right. Yes. Who wants to start? Um how about you since you have a Oh, okay. Adorable project. She has a darling project. It's okay. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so um, I let's start here. Okay, so whenever you get your stickers, not always, but when most, you get to the time, most of the time when you get stickers, it comes with um, sort of that card, card heavy cardstock or cardboard insert, and so um, I like to cover these. And, and then use them for a little wall calendars. So these also are great because it's a nice heavy cardstock. Some of the packages come with, you know, a nice thick yeah. cardboard, a nice card chipboard. I right? use it for my die cut letters and oh, stuff. Oh, that's great. And it's white. A lot of times the chipboard in the sticker packages and stuff mm -hmm. is white. Yeah, and so a lot of you can fold them. If it's a nice heavy, you can make a nice, it's a nice cover for a chipboard album. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it with some pattern paper and make it into a little wall calendar. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, the first thing you want to do is cut some paper to, to fit the width of your, what do you call this? Backing. Backing or, or chipboard insert. Packaging. Packaging insert. And what I did is I, I took a piece of pattern paper and I had already um, cut out the hole, but all, all I did for that was just put the paper on, turn it over. Use an X-Acto. Yeah, you can use an X-Acto knife or you can even just trace it and cut it up. That's what I did. Um, let me just adhere that on. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now let's grab another one. It's so serious. How's everyone doing here? <laughs> you know, this is cute all by itself. This I, green with the polka dots. It's very cute. And that's kind of the thing I, I want people to think about is there's packaging out there that is so cute. I know. Make don't throw use it away. Of, yeah, don't throw it away. Make use of it. So you're going to take this. Yeah, Prima's got some of the best packaging. I absolutely love yeah, the packaging. Yeah, Prima has that beautiful packaging. So for this, I'm just going to put a little deco. I just cut a little deco edge on that. Cute. Um, let's take this. So this is some die cut paper. This is brand new Making that Memories paper. Adorable. It's beautiful paper, isn't it? And I just love it. Cut it. There's a lot of great papers out there with die cut. So. And this could even be like just scraps. I mean, Ab yes, it, absolutely, it could be scraps. So you, maybe I'll just put a little over. I think I would need to do a machine stitch across to make it really cute. Of course. Okay. So now what you want to do is take a stack of your calendars. You know, I started with July, but go ahead and start from wherever you want. I just, this is all I have cut out for now. But you just take your stack of calendars. Okay, just staple that onto your paper and then put some adhesive down. Just kind of ram a little bit for now. And then just adhere it to the bottom. Okay. And then comes your photo. Okay. And you are now, all you have to do now is decorate a prima flower there. One of the, love these flowers. These are some of my favorite flowers right now. And then a gem. There we go, a little, little gem. And then maybe just take a little ribbon. I like the hole at the top because it's easy to hang. It's ready to go. Just hang it on a little nail. That's oh cute. my gosh. That's it. You, you know, I adorable. get these in the mail for free sometimes yeah. too. You know, That's they right. they come with like your insurance people's name and stuff. That's right. That's you right. just rip that off and, and make your own calendar. calendar. Just put on your packaging. And that's it. Okay, who's next? Okay, okay. My way of stretching my scrapbooking budget is I tend to save all sorts of little things that come in packaging. And um, like you used packaging to make something out of. Mm -hmm. Well, I got this little Wii remote um, 
when we bought, you know, the Wii covers? Yeah, and you know, I tossed mine out. I wish yeah. I kept it. Where would you find Wii embellishments? You won't. And I just saved this, and you can even spray it with that archival mist if you're really worried about that. And so I made a, p- a page about my kids and their Wii. Now, you save all kinds of things like I that, right? Yeah, let's see this box. Okay, here's my little box. Now, this I thought was darling. This was from a birthday party, and I saved this. Wouldn't this be fun on a page? Very cute. And monkeys are really in right now in scrapbooking products I for know. whatever reason. And it was free, and, and like, a good this price. is a price tag off of a Hello Kitty shirt. And my girls love Hello Kitty, so oh. and and so does mommy. See oh. the watch, <laughs> and like there's Hello Kitty band aids, and there's right. all these things that just come, you know, on the stuff you already buy. Mm-hmm. Now this was a birthday party invitation, so you could use the whole thing if you wanted to. You just cut out the flower and stick yeah. it on a pop dot, right? Or you know, without the invitation. Look how cute this is. It's like a little pocket. You could use it right on the page. Why is it journaling? And here's um, <laughs> chopsticks. Um, they're not used, but they're quite thin. Yeah, and, and I did a page with chopsticks. It's hard to get the thin ones, but when you yeah. get them, I save them because you, I'll, I'll put that picture okay. in. Okay. Very fun. Um, I thought this would be fun. You know, just chopsticks and, you know, you can save things. This came off of a... Um, a uh, stuffed animal. Hug me. I'm extra soft and cuddly. See? <laughs> so this could go on any page. Absolutely. So. I need to do, I used to do that, but I yeah. stopped doing it a few years ago. I need to really get back because so many cute things. Like, um, I think Donnie, you mentioned it. Like, you get jeans. Yeah. You buy jeans, it comes with some really cute, um, mm-hmm. Um, rugged tags like that, but it yeah. also comes with like a ball chain, right? Mm-hmm. It's things like that. Yeah, and they're right? material, and they've got like cool yeah, rivets, thing. and yeah. So I just, I save all sorts of this, and I keep it in a box, and I go here first, because this is like free embellishments right there. That's so. frugal. So Donna, <laughs> what do you have for us? Um, I was saying earlier that I love Prima's packaging. Um, this is the backing for the flowers. Oh, that's pretty. And I absolutely adore it because you can just cut the ends off where's the other oh, one so i just cut the end off and now it's perfect you can just put a picture so cute. right on it or you i mean you could run a title or journaling or yes i mean you could do anything with this I mean, and we were talking a little bit earlier about different uses for it use it as a template And then yeah. I will put, I could actually put this right here, and it would cover the extra stuff oh, that that's we did. Oh, that's great. But I, I mean, I use everything. And that's what I did on the card, is I did a little bit of misting on there and put that in the background. And then used a whole bunch of other stuff. There's a, a paper doily, and then my, oops, piece of string. <laughs> So this this is the packaging right here. This is the yeah. packaging in the back. Well, with the number of Prima flowers that I buy and go through, <laughs> oh, you can make I can do a mini book. <laughs> you can totally do a mini book. No kidding. How fun but is wouldn't that? Wouldn't that be cute? Oh my gosh. Uh, this is also Prima packaging. Ooh. This was for a collage Ooh. seat set, and then I use this for my little mini cards on the go packaging. So I've got some cardstock and some pattern paper and some little you know, sentiments and stuff in here that if I need to do a card in a hurry, then I just pull out this little pack. And it has it all in there. It's out it's got it all in there. That's yeah. so cute. That's so cute. It's a cootie catcher. It is a cootie catcher. Yes. And I have one more. Um this is my fishbowl. We've we've actually talked about this <laughs> before. Um repurposing. It's all about repurposing. I like your fishbowl. I took um the AccuCut die the big the five inch scallop and i cut out cardboard and um maps and it looks like and phone book and paper <laughs> see i love that I, and i don't think enough people take advantage of the large maps. backup machines yeah. at their store exactly and they're, they're usually they let you do it for really inexpensive or free mm-hmm. and then this is like some of my really old papers that you know these are years and years back. 
And so I've got them die cut into these shapes and I will probably use them more likely to use them in this way than the whole sheet of paper. Cute. To do random cards and card buffet. Very cute. Okay, and you had one more. And right? then um, mm -hmm. these are Donna's punches. And look at the top of this Chatterbox um, packaging. packaging. It is so cute. And I just went ahead and made two little, like, look, I did a little heart and a little, oh, I have like glue on my hand, <laughs> and a little star. Look at that. Okay, well, Wait thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. 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 Google. So, Donna, what do you have for us? Okay, can you do that again? Because my hand moved and it was like, Donna, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> I just want